hi, willkommen, mein Name ist Daniel Roy P und ich begrüße euch zurück zur Let's Play Tales of Xillia. Immer noch. Part 196, glaube ich. Hoffentlich. Ich habe jetzt den letzten Part so genannt. Ich hoffe, das ist jetzt richtig. So, ich habe mal so aufs Neugier. Äh, hier ihr Kostüm nochmal gewechselt auf normal. Und sie hat wirklich nicht mehr diesen Stein hier in diesem Ding drin. Wollte ich nur mal sagen. Ne? Ja, komischerweise ist es in dem Kostüm noch einmal weg, aber was soll's. Ja, ich ja, mich interessieren solche, solche kleinen Sachen, ne? Entschuldigung. Und ja, soll keiner sagen, dass ich nicht auf so kleine Details achte. Egal. Aber ich weiß nie, wo wir hin müssen. Was schon wieder keinen Sinn macht. So, ich glaube, im ersten Shots war das. Dann ruhen wir uns mal in Dingens. Besser warte, ich mach mal. Die ganzen Klamotten wieder auf normal. Nium, nium. Nium, nium. Weil, weiß nicht. Wir haben so eine Story. Äh. Jetzt so eine wichtige Story. Mein Gott, Katzen ist. So kurz vor dem finalen Kampf. Ich hat schon echt vor dem normalen Kampf. Äh, vor dem finalen Kampf. Weil ich weiß noch genau, dass es. In Tales of the Abyss immer so weit, dass jedes Mal, wenn ich gedacht habe, das Spiel ist vorbei, ungefähr noch ein Drittel des Spiels auf uns zukommt. Deswegen bin ich mir jetzt nicht so sicher. Aber es sieht schon ein bisschen so aus. Sicher ist sicher. Deswegen tue ich mal hier die normalen Klamotten anziehen. Hier aus von ja klar, Jay Curtis. Vielen Dank. doing Alvin figured I'd stay away since everyone's so sick of me maybe because you're a big fat liar yeah that's just no. who I am all right and what about you Elise wondering what to do yeah I just don't know what the right choice is. Well, you're talking to the wrong guy. I don't know much about being a kid. Never really had a childhood. So were you a member of Exodus ever since you were just a little boy? Yeah, that's right. I thought it was okay to trick people. When things would go bad, I'd just disappear. I'd take the path of least resistance. I pretty much just did whatever didn't hurt me, that's all. Then, does that mean you won't be going with Mila and Jude? Wehe, yeah, you know sonst ich dich mit. That kid forces me to wake up and smell reality. They're all just so mature. The way they hide their real feelings about me. Oh, now I get it. You're lonely, aren't you, Alvin? I've never been much for expressing my feelings, I suppose. But even if they do hate me, I have to stick it out. I'm not leaving this time. So does that mean that you really want to be their friend again? I've learned that building real trust with people takes a lot more work than you think. Being a grown-up sounds like an awful lot of pain. It seems like the older you get, the tougher it is to share your feelings with others. Anyway, no one will want to be friends with me until I can make the first move. It's hard, but it sure beats being alone. I wonder what I'm supposed to do now. What do I have to do to become happy? Well, it's different for everyone. 
You just have to find what works for you. I'm sure you know what you want by now. I guess so. It hasn't been easy, but I've learned a lot traveling with everybody. I know that. I definitely don't want to stop, that's for sure. I want to keep on learning more, and I want to make some new friends. Yeah, that sounds pretty good to me. Some help you are. I told you, I'm the wrong guy to ask about this stuff. Sorry about that, kid. Uh huh? That's a thank you. I just wanted you to know that from now on, I'm gonna be your friend, okay? Oh, fuck. How come the kids are the wisest people in this group? <lacht> okay, da kam irgendwie aus dem Nichts. Ja, was soll's. Ich glaube, wenn Elise Elvin vertraut, muss ich jetzt halt auch. Na gut. Versuchen wir's. Trouble sleeping, young miss. Yeah, I still haven't made up my mind. What about you? I've reached a decision. I have decided to go with them. I see. I wonder if I'm the only one who's still on the fence. You're not alone. Huh? When Lord Klein passed away, I inherited the keys to the kingdom along with many doubts. But eventually you figured out what to do, right? I used to think that everything works out if you do your best, but I've been proven wrong every time. Does Agria still haunt you? I keep thinking, there might have been something else I could have done for her. I know that feeling well. Oh, you mean with King Noctegal? <laughs> Am I that easy to <laughs> Let me tell you, life does not become any simpler the older you get. But I must say, I am a bit surprised by you. In what way? I was under the impression that Jude was the one who occupied your every waking thought. Uh, come on now, don't be silly. Is it obvious? Yes, I'm afraid it is. You know, I once thought that if I became a nurse, that I might find happiness. After all, when Jude's happy, I'm happy. Simple enough, right? But now, I'm starting to get the feeling that Jude just might be better off without me. I mean, I don't want to get in his way again, you know? Leah. Would you like to know what my reasons are and why I've decided to go along with Jude and Mila? Are you willing to tell me? I would like to be there to walk with them in the future that they wish to create. <laughs> that sounds like you. But that's not all. I plan to take the lead and pull the two of them along behind me. That is my true desire. And I? What do I really want? I think you already know your answer, miss. What I really want is to see Jude's smiling face again. I suppose that's it. That's a good reason, isn't it? Ja, da waren es nur noch zwei. Oh, kommt jetzt die Szene aus dem Intro? Ja. Sieht ganz danach aus. Hey. 
Don't you want to sit? You've changed. Not really. To be honest, I'm so scared I can't even sleep. I told you before, if we can just dispel the schism, I'll handle everything from there. There's no reason for you to be afraid. Mila! If the schism disappears, so will the temporal crossroads, right? Yes. The destruction of the schism means the death of Maxwell. The temporal crossroads were born from Maxwell and that unique spirit climb, so they will vanish too. Why? Why didn't I realize what's happened to you? Hmm? I know. You never told me because... because you wanted me to find my own answer first. Isn't that right? just easier for me that way. Huh? The entity known as Maxwell is essential for the spirits. So they will need a new Maxwell. Then we won't be able to stay together anymore? The sadness of parting is a human emotion. Such emotions no longer apply to me. And there's no other way, is there? Maxwell created me, so perhaps he could restore my human body. Jude, is that what you really want? Let's create a new future for all the spirits and people in the world. And let's create it together. Together. Um, Just relax. Finale Bosskampf. I've come here to tell you something, and that's all. Well, what then? We are ready to commence our operation to wipe out every Spyrex in Olympus. So your attack from before was just to check whether Spyrites were usable? Exactly. You came here to tell us that? <lacht> no. Listen. Übrigens, ich töte euch alle. A dream for the future of the world that is vastly different from mine. So. Take it easy. This is a piece of Muse's power. The power to slice through space? What of it? Here, I give you a chance to return to reason yes! quietly if you choose to. Danke. You'd still offer us a chance to end things peacefully. Gaius, you know full well that we can't walk the same path. Not anymore. If you wish to make your dream a reality, then come and face me. I won't run, and I won't hide. Wait. What about Muse? She is very torn. She has incredible power, yet she knows not how to use it. In hindsight, I was cruel to force such a weak person to become strong so suddenly. 
He wants to save her too, doesn't he? Hmm. Hey. I know I might just be fighting for selfish reasons now. But I know that I have to go face Gaius. I need to get a grip on these fragile feelings. Otherwise, I won't become the adult I want to be. So, Mila... If I ever stray from my path, promise me that you'll be there to remind me who I really am. I will. Tja, ja. Okay, jetzt bin ich mir irgendwie sicher, dass jetzt der letzte Kampf kommt. Und dass wir kurz davor sind. You hate? Eigentlich ist Gaius eine coole Sau. Ist mir so aufgefallen in der letzten Szene. Das könnte der beste Schlaf sein, den ich in meinem ganzen Leben hatte. Ich war tot der Welt. Ich weiß nicht, dass ich mit dir komme. Ich werde dich nicht mit meinen Gründen verletzen. Thanks, Leia. Let's do our best. Yep. I'm coming too. And me three. I shall accompany you as well. Wouldn't do for the only Olympian here to sit this one out. So you've made up your mind. Okay, ich steig aus. Ich komme mit Druck nicht klar. Nein. Then there's something we need to tell you. Check this out. Nifty knife. Gaius brought this to us last night. He called it a piece of Muse's power. Does that mean we could use it to tear open the breach? Looks like it. Gaius truly is inscrutable. He's mocking us. I don't think so. We might be fighting against one another, but he's a good guy. Na klar. Nice to see you're actually talking to me. Uh, uh, well. I appreciate it. Thanks. You're welcome. It's a bummer there's nobody here to send off the heroes. That shouldn't be a problem. We'll just have to accept that we're unsung heroes. Who needs an adoring crowd? Let's have a pre-battle cheer. If you insist. Couldn't hurt. Make sure to put some feeling into it. Indeed. Here goes nothing. Everyone, let's finish what we started. Okay. Yay! Yeah. Tritten wir gleich in den Hintern. Da gehen sie. Ja. Speicherpunkt. Ja, nach diesen tiefgrünigen, epischen Szenen. Hä? Man hat schon immer grün im Hintergrund. Ich dachte, er war blau. Würde ich sagen, wir machen im nächsten Part weiter. Ja, ich bedanke mich fürs Zuschauen und sage Tschüss.